under on us. You are here from the beginning. You always is and always will be. You are the upper and the omega. You are the beginning and the end. You are the Lord of all. You are the kings. All the kings are like a stream of water in your hands. The governmental on your shoulder, oh God. Lord, you are the great physician in our sick time. Oh, you are the great healer, oh God. You are the lion of the tribe of Judah. You are the deliverer. You are the lamb on the cross. You are the blood. The blood that we need for salvation in the nation. In the name of Jesus. to me. He said, I gave you this for Trinidad and world. So, I was like, thank you, Lord. I'm not heavy no more. In obedience. Today, I'm going to speak of time for accountability and obedience in the church. Time. Somebody say Time. time. For accountability and obedience in the church. <laughs> you see, Jesus is the master of time. He holds all time in his hands. We are just going through the process until he calls our day or tomorrow. But I'm going to read from Ezekiel 3. I'm going to start with 17, Ezekiel 3. I will start um, whenever, and I use, the reason I use the New Living Translation, I usually if I read the King James, yes, I have for myself, but because I try to include everyone new to the world, I get a lot of people from different backgrounds, both in Hindu and New York, here a lot of people come into the Baptist faith, and so I get to, I have to meet them where they're at. So that's what God had me do, okay? So it says, Whenever you receive a message from me, warn people immediately. If I warn the wicked, if I warn the wicked, saying you are under the penalty of death, but you fail to deliver the warning, they will die in their sins. Oh, Jesus. And I will hold you responsible for their death. If you warn them and they refuse to repent and keep on sinning, they will die in their sin. But if you will have saved yourself because you obeyed me. And then it says, if righteous people turn away from their righteous behavior and ignore the obstacles I put in their way, they will die. And if they do not and if you do not want them, they will die in their sins. None of their righteous acts will be remembered, and I will hold you responsible for their death. But if you are you want righteous people 
not to sin and they listen to you and do not sin, they will live and you will have saved yourself too. I will go to the 27. But when I give you a message, I will loose your tongue and let you speak. Amen. Then you will say to them, this is what the serene Lord says. Those who choose to listen will listen, but those who refuse will refuse, for they are rebels. Here ends reading of the word of God. Amen. Now, we are in crucial times. And I skipped very few, but I have a lot of stuff God gave me. God has even taken my spirit and we've entered into the White House of America, I can describe it. I, was an even, an, I even was on the podium. I don't, I'm not going to talk about it, I'm going to explain to you. God is omnipresent on the balcony and he showed me a leader was waving to the people. I don't talk about it, I don't want to get into politics, but I'll show people to let people know their insights. But the Lord had given me this dream. He opened a mega Bible in front of me. And he opened it into Matthew 24. Then a wildfire came and spread across the page, but it would not consume the Bible. Then he started to so show me a Boeing 737 came crashing down. Then the towers were falling down. And there were people, seems more uh, Middle Eastern, like Pakistani and stuff, they were running everywhere as a building was crumbling. And the Lord was reminding me that the season that we in will be disastrous. But the Lord has promises for his people. Yes. And he said, when you receive this message, who are you? The people that you're going to speak to, apostle, and different people he would have spoken to that he has called. They may not have a title, but they are called. Because there's offices, but not everybody is in the office. But God speaks through others. And he said, I warn, he said, if I warn the wicked saying they're on the penalty of death, but they but they fail to deliver the to, to deliver the warning, they will die in their sins. The Lord is calling this nation and the nation of this world to listen and die in their sins. The Lord is calling this nation and the nation of this world to listen and obey. The land of Trinidad has a curse of murder and witchcraft in the soil. Amen. Jesus. He said you're under the penalty of death because you failed to deliver the warning. They will die in this sin. This is going on to the world. You see, when you are doing the work of God, many will rise. Because the work, the enemy wants to hinder and stop you. But you have to keep your eyes on Jesus. What is going to happen is Trinidad has the grace for the few that are praying like you. But the time is coming. The Lord will lift his hand. And great disaster would befall on this nation. The blood on the earth is crying out, and the witchcraft in the water is crying out, and the altars of the houses is going to be destroyed. He said, Too many altars in the houses. You are in church with the pastor, but you're going home to altars that does not belong to God. You are in the church with him, but you're going to the pundit. And you go to the temple and you go to the mosque. Which God? He said, choose this day. You cannot serve two masters at the same time. You will always love one more than the other. The land of Trinidad is close to its judgment. And I will hold you responsible for the death. I will deliver it because I am not going to be held accountable. What is my motto? The people knows me. I am going to hell for nobody. Yes. Amen. And my husband, and my children. And I look at him and I tell him, you're accustomed to me. I made a choice. You have to make a decision too. Yeah. You know what he's saying? When I give you a word and you shut your mouth, don't you know you're disobeying me? You're trying to 
save this one feelings and that one feelings and you are looking at me like nobody for people you think is somebody. Because we like to please the world, yeah, the yes, world, yes. the world. We want the applause. We want everybody yeah. to like us. We yes. want to be the group. We want to be the click, 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 click. Yeah. You are not in high school anymore. Why do you need a click? Yeah. Did you come to church to look for God? Or you came to church to judge everything that goes on? Make up your mind today. Yes. Who are you going to serve? If you want them and they refuse to repent and keep on sinning, they will die in their sins, but you will have saved yourself because you obeyed me. The truth will set you free. Nothing offends the sin and the flesh like truth. You will be the most hated for being a true teller. You'll be criticized the most for a true teller. People will say you're not nice for being a true teller. People will say the worst about you. But I tell you today, I have truth to true and living God. And he's the God of truth. He's the living God. There is no lie in him. There is no deception in him. There is nothing filthy in him. And I choose to represent him as a So whatever does clean and dirty water come out in the same tap? The salt and clean water come out in the same tap. You have to choose. The church is lacking accountability. Everything is pastor fault. Everything is apostle fault. What role did you play in the problem? This is one man and one woman. You are one person with two hands and two feet. How could one person be responsible for all the problem? Did you continue the problem? Did you stop the problem? Or did you escalate the problem? What role did you play to cause the scandal in the house? People don't like my preaching. Say I'm wrong. But Jesus was radical. Yes. Yes. The word of God is radical. Did you hear him talk to the scribes and Pharisees? That's why he constantly running. They constantly sending fire because he can't take it in boldness. You have to speak the truth. Amen. You don't know who you're saving today. Today the Lord is calling for you to evaluate yourself and be obedient. Are you going to keep pointing fingers at the next person? Are you always going to look for a scapegoat for your issues? What issue do you carry? Are you looking at the fruit of the, of the Spirit in Galatians 22? Are you seeing love in you? Are you seeing joy in you? Are you seeing peace in you? What are you seeing in you? Are you obeying it? Are you saying hallelujah, but you're not obeying the word? It's useless. Faith without works is dead. Seven, Second Chronicles 7, 14 says, If my people that are called by my name shall humble themselves, seek my face, then heaven shall hear, and he shall heal the The Lord has a people. He said, my people. He said, humble yourselves. There is no humility in the body of Christ. Everybody wants to be, I am a leader. Where did God place you? Don't you know intercessors stay in the back but they destroy the kingdom of hell? Don't you know what they do? You don't have to see them, but they sit in the back. And you brute have repent of the enemy. I destroy them. While you having fun, they destroy you. 
enemies behind your back. So why do you have to be a pastor? We're pastor. Did God call you there? No. So why are you fighting tooth and nail? Don't you know the enemy recognized anointing and would show you down? Don't they rise up against you? He's sitting there. He doesn't walk in the same as I am. But there are times I kneel in front of him. As a head I priest of my home and I just say, pray for me. Because what they said, a man is a head high priest of his home. Yes. So there's a place. And we have to respect God's order. It's yes. called obedience. Yes. Amen. 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 I'm going to touch some things. Maybe some people don't want to say it because people might be grinding this side. But that's <laughs> it anyway. Because guess what my motto is? I want to make Jesus happy. Yes. Yes. My motive is when he said, Well done, my good and faithful servant. I look back and say, So long, bye bye. righteous acts will be remembered and will hold you responsible for the death. The Lord placed obstacles yes. to protect you. Amen. Yes. And no people not seeing it that way because it's hot like fire. But the Lord placed the obstacle 
that enemy that you want to God take them by the tongue in my flesh. That boss that is giving you hell in the office. Because when you see gravitate from them, you gravitate to Jesus because you don't have a choice in the matter. You see, he removes, he leaves it there because the hotter the fire, the more you go in. Yes. Some people only operate on the heat, you know. Yes. Yes. If things cool and look warm, oh, I bless, Pastor, I bless. As first problem come, um, where's Sister Jane? It ain't because I'm passing and I'm going through my building, pay my train, I had to go to school, then I school bad, then I school both. Oh, I thought God was with me, but look what happened, my old house breaking up. I thought you were pastor blessed last week. Uh-huh. 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 Yes. Somebody say, ouch. 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 <laughs> you see, he said, the righteous people turn away. Many righteous people have turned away from the COVID. Because the world got sweet in the rest. So they decide the world is sweet. So I don't need to go back to Jesus. I'm having a good time. The party nice. Arapita Avenue good. St. James Rum nice. Carnival sweet. And the costume feathers pretty. Eh? Sunday, I'll take my mark and then I, I'm, I'm blessed and I'm highly favored. Then I'm going back. Does that sound right? I, I, I can't remember this song. What that song again? What that song song? <laughs> You're singing it on the way because it feels good. Yeah. Sin is a seduce. Listen to me. When the serpent came in the garden, he sweet talk Eve yeah. 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 into sin. Yes. The sin of the world that you're running after. People worship the man who just went to jail. Did not Peter make into? Vibe Patel, what a Jesus. They buy all the clock shoes, all the hand coaches, and they follow a man that going into hell and the hall with a hall, one way basket, in a t- one way ticket and a hand basket right behind him. Then they come to church Sunday. <laughs> What's spirit knocking you down? <laughs> Is it by cartel spirit? Because even though you don't know, he's an occultist. They only let him out because of the oath he made. Because they knew sacrifice had to be made and a time will release you to continue the work. But you clocks and toothbrush and clocks and carrying on. And when you hear Jesus, you just go on. Then you come to church and you come and need deliverance, Pastor. You need deliverance of God, Pastor Spirit. And Beyonce Spirit. And all the spirit, that spirit, spirit that's not called his spirit. So when you get to deliverance, you're going to listen to the demon spirit that entered to you, the Oisha and the Oshan and the different spirits, and then you come back and need deliverance. Spirit will beat you up until you take it, the deliverance and receive it. <laughs> they can't put money in your pocket, but you're getting a loan in the bank for carnival. <laughs> Why must I help you with books? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Go tell the band now you need books. Yeah. 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 The devil always release money for the wrong thing. Yeah. But when it's the right thing, you can't get it though. Yeah. Yeah. I'm waking up some people here today. If that is you, say ouch and keep going. And listen. <laughs> because it's time the church wake up. Yeah. It's called accountability. Yes. Yeah. People don't like my preaching. It's okay. Jesus loves me. We will continue. And he says, none of the righteous acts will be remembered. And I will hold your accounts responsible for the debt. All the giving, the tithing, all the prayer, and all the things you did. And all the hallelujah, you, tr- you shout until your throat burns, and the ten chairs you throw through on the front row wouldn't be accounted for. 
All he did was just break up some chairs. Because when you're not doing right after all, the Lord will not remember you. That's why you need to clean up. Somebody say clean up. My world is hot. But I like fire. That's why God gave me no fire. Because you have to understand, if you don't take accountability, Satan will give you accountability. Yes. Yes. And Satan has a lot of responsibility for you. True, true. Satan has no work. Everywhere I walk, young men on the corner don't know themselves. How is that possible? Fifty million churches. The Lord gave me a word. I had to release on my TikTok. I'm on TikTok and YouTube, the full messages. Prophet Shana Riley, if you see it. But I didn't release it yet. When the Lord said, the amount of people that he gave me a percent that's going to hell from the church is embarrassing. Jesus. Hmm. the amount of people, but I think you're going to heaven. Because they do the right thing physically. Because their flesh get the pain to get up and sacrifice and come to church with obedience, written and sacrifice. Amen. They came to church, they will read the Bible, they could quote scripture more than apostle, they could do this. Oh, they could open a church now. <laughs> apostle don't know what to do that. Apostle, apostle, all day. Sitting in judgment seat. Right. Talking about the same person when fire take you around too. That's right. yes. You are the one that's not going to make it. He said, broad is the road to hell, but narrow to heaven for a reason, because there are few. Somebody's telling neighbor, listen, open your open your ears. Yes. 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 I'm talking sweet, talk to you. It's called holy word. You have to be sanctified to bring certain messages. Right. His anointing is greater. So I humble to that. But God gave me my own. So I have to respect his own. Amen. That's what humility is. Yes. I was worship leading, washing the feet of people, cleaning the toilet. They say, Mata, Mata, come on, come up and go, 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 go. Clean the children's room, the kitchen, the toilet, and the altar. I remember washing a lady's feet. She died now. She had Alzheimer's. When I went back to visit, she said, she remember you. She don't remember anybody. I said, watch. I go, does they hide mommy? She said, hide you? They said, oh my God, she remember you. You know why? Because it was love. Yes. 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 Love, there's faith, hope, and above all, is charity. Yes. yes. This is what the church needs to be responsible in carrying. Yes. That's why there's so much people at the corner. Yes. Everybody, oh, we should hide. <laughs> That's why you're dominant. God can't move you if he's not moving. There's nothing impossible with him. But if your spirit is not conducive, the vessel to use, he will not use it. Spirit needs a conducive vessel to use. Yes. Yeah. Obedience is a conducive vessel for God. It makes it conducive. God don't want all the shaky people that have in church. Shaky, shaky, inconsistent. Not today. Cold tomorrow, high today, low tomorrow, love Jesus today, love party tomorrow, all over the place. I'm going to go in a little thing before I leave. But if you want the righteous people not to sin and they, and they listen to you and do not sin, they will live and you will have saved your life too. Yes. I'm going to save my life, I don't know you. I'm going to talk about something that's happening in this culture. Church, people take stock of what I'm saying, even you on the internet. Your Trinidadian people like too much of that. And no water may go, but you have to type in your water. 
or you will get a bucket of water to bathe. Stop going to people to wash you for good or men. They are putting witchcraft on you. They are binding and bound you. They have offered this water to altars and they are sacrificing you to demons and devils. That is why you have to keep going back because the devil had knotted and tied you in such a bind and he bound you in chains and shackles that you cannot leave because your back had just made you dirty. Just people leaving here in good work like this and running to people for bad because they like hard. I thought God was the God of the impossible. Do you see all those people that they're giving back? They need to take a bath and clean their houses. Somebody said, listen up. I'm not hearing you. They ain't have no light because they can't, darkness and light can't dwell in the same place. Then you see the sign, go to the president. Oh, Lord, thing happened and give me a ban. You're bound yourself to Satan in hell. Ouch, I think they're going to run me out. They're going to put them and open their hand. I want to give you a secret. When you open your hand, as my person may actually tell you, you are giving demons and the gates of hell access to into your life. Yes. 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 So from the time you do this, they have entered into your vessel. You gave them permission. Now when you exchange money, they go put it under the altar, under the water. Who do it? You need to repent quick, 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 quick. That's why life never had peace again. And that's why you're in poverty, because they put in the poverty get worse. Yeah, yeah. The people you see Satan give money that he stole from somebody, yeah. his short resume, still kill and destroy, is because he had purposed them like those rappers are like to sit on and walk around. Yeah. <laughs> and then they see he do something to them and they see scandal in their lives because he finishes them next generation. Hmm. Tell me something he has a secret here. Watch what you're connecting yourself to. Yes. Everybody is not your friend. Everybody doesn't want to see you do good. Everybody doesn't want you do good. Everybody doesn't say good things about you no matter how much good you do. So I tell you, because of this, you keep your eyes on Jesus because he they didn't die on a cross on a hill for you in Calvary. No cross for you, they did not strip them and whip them, they didn't put thorns on their head, they did not insult and shame them, they did not spit on them for you, they did not do it, Jesus did it. So keep your eyes on the hill, for there comes your answer, your help coming from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. You spend too much time studying how people feel about you. Oh, my sister don't like me, oh, my brother don't like me, oh, my you know what they say about me? You know what they do? Oh, my mother, my father, they take care of me. But you're alive, so you need to say thank you, Jesus, that I'm making it. They may not like me, but you taught them me enough to love me and let me be here, standing my ground strong. You study people so much. As soon as the leader says something that offend you, <laughs> I go back to the church. Yeah, the pastor said, and the pastor said, and the man came. I think he be a man and God to say that. And the Bible say a woman she was to do that. And the Bible say, the Bible say, oh, did God call you? Leave God's people alone. God will trouble you. If you keep troubling them, He gonna trouble you. The Lord promised me a long time ago that I will contend against those that contend against you. And He has kept His word. They don't have to lift a hand. God give me some kind of soul they owe. Give you the deliverance call. May God help us. Last part. Let's go. I'm going to scripture. I use scripture. Pastor, do I have a few more? Hold on. Okay. He said, 
The last part is save yourself. Yes. The Lord loops your tongue and speak. That's what I'm doing. Listen. And those who refuse to listen, you're a rebel. You will know that when you operate and are a rebellion that you're witch in witchcraft. Some people said, oh, I never go and go witch, I don't do the witchcraft. But you would. your mom can't stop speaking crosses over people's children. Some of you ain't do more witchcraft. Watching somebody on the face, you're so jealous. You had to talk on the person on the so much. Mm-hmm. And nothing wrong with it. Mm-hmm. You're speaking witchcraft that a person don't make it because they're looking good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wow. They shall never do good. Don't you know power by from that side? Yes. 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 yes, yes, yes. Don't you know what you just did is witchcraft? Mm-hmm. Satan used witchcraft in the garden. Yes. In the garden, Satan used used. Not pride first. He started to adore himself with vanity. He wants to see himself as Jesus. He entered the vanity. He started to see himself as God. That's vanity. And then Satan become prideful because vanity has entered. And then he entered into witchcraft when he spoke. You see, God spoke the world into existence. So Satan views he put about everything and so he used the word for bad. And he created sin when he said it. He caused sin, I should say. Because he used witchcraft and not godliness. I hope you get to the revelation. Yeah. So you can enter into things that you don't know. Sometimes it's good to ask a question. And more people say they're not good to say spit. Okay. Not just spit, carry a bag. <laughs> Mm. And it says in 2 Corinthians 5, verse 10, For you must all stand before Christ to be judged. We will each receive whatever we deserve for the good or the evil we have done in our earthly body. Instead of you hating people telling you the truth, receive what they tell you. Because they, you don't have to get that come to them. God is going to put you standing with your big screen TV and tell your father, oh, no, 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 not me, God. I was a prayed intercessor. When everybody was sleeping, Lord, I was sleeping. I'm not saying, so who was that day that destroyed people? <laughs> oh, you see, what happened that day, you see, Lord? <laughs> <laughs> I know something in that one, right? She, that's why I am. And you have to understand that the Lord is looking on. That's what he's saying, I'm looking on. And it says in James 4, 17, remember it is sin, it is, a, it is sin to know what you ought to do and then not do it. What I'm telling you, that's why I say open your ears, because God has come to you, he won't come back to me because he might be delivered. But he wants to see if you know you didn't receive it. Because it's truth, what I'm speaking. It's life. Is going to give you life eternal. And if you want to live with Jesus, you've got to be obedient. Jesus was obedient to his father. He didn't tell them, the soldiers come in. If they think they want to do anything, my father will send angels, and an angel will deal with them. You know, Trinity thing. You'll deal with your boy. I'll deal with them. I'll deal with your boy. Jesus just calmly, he knows, he prayed. The flesh rise up, cut out, and cut off ears, and carry on, Peter. Just like take a chill, chill, chill pill, and put the air back in. Because we have to learn to study You have to learn to understand that God is God all by Himself. You know, some people believe that God is them so much that if they will do certain things, that everything will crumble. Because they played a good role in something. That all of a sudden they're so essential, but they go stay. Well, that's another lie. God don't need us. He, we need Him to hold our hands, not us hold our hands. Our hands are not strong enough. Amen. 
Next one, it says, Luke 6.46. You can write, then we will quickly to wrap up. So why do you keep calling me Lord, Lord, when you don't do what I say? Mm. We might talk obedience. I will show you what it's like when someone comes to me, listens to my teaching, and then follow it. God is not interested in a show. Yeah. There's a lot of theater in the church. There's so much theater in the church that people are caught up in the lights, the camera, and the smoke, and Jesus has left the building a long time ago. <laughs> yes, amen to that. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus has left the building a long time ago, but they have been a fellowship when Jesus was gone because they're not connecting to him. They just see each other, they have been, they're excited, and they, they feel like, like there's a glory because some spirit come in the place, and they think that's it. That's not what it is. He requires obedience. And in order to have obedience, you need to be accountable. Too much disobedience in the body of Christ. Yeah. Yeah. I would do it and one scripture more. It said in Deuteronomy 11, 1, you must love the Lord, Lord your God and always obey his requirements, decreed, regulations. You first need to know them. That is why I'm going to touch some things that people are sensitive to. I don't care. People, and I'm going to bring it back up are going to the polls and vote in every country. But they like the person they voted for the party so much and the color. I don't know color was so, that's why they have them in gangs. Because it's a distraction. So they go into the polls, don't know what the person stands for, don't know they've been, they don't have to be perfect. God uses perfect people. Cyrus, King Cyrus. So it's not that. But when you take your eyes off the person and you look for God and the Lord and decree, you will make a decision off of what they stand for. You cannot serve God and serve murder. You cannot do it. You cannot do it. You cannot stand for it. Don't you know they stand for it because of sacrifice to keep their position and the power so they involve in you in it? Because they are really riches in covenants and covenants? You see, go deeper. But I won't tell you everything today. One day God will make me come back and hold on. Pass them in one time one half. But here we will make some of the things. So when you're making decisions, stop liking things that God don't love. Start looking for what God loves. Did God not say thou shalt not kill? So why are you supporting anything that's of a poor woman's right? Yes. Yes. If you like a party in your vex, who vex could vex? I don't hear it. Because the truth has to be heard. Yes. This is not personal with the people. It is personal between me and God. Yes. If you have dirty hands and hands filled with blood that sign on a paper for blood to flow, you are going to be judged. Yes. And hell is going to receive you. Yes. There are many things that the church is doing. And they're like, I'm a Christian, they're talking, it's the serpent in them talking. I'm a Christian, and I have noticed that how, when you look at this, I don't think this, and the Lord visited me in a dream, and this is what the Lord showed me. And there was a big, and there was this, and people like, oh, 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 yeah, yeah, shay, shay, shay. And Satan's demon just talks to you. When to share good thing you're sharing, you know. But you're sharing all the thing because you get hype off of it. I see people on which them psychic like, given true revelation on the internet. They following and they're like, yeah, she just said that to them. I remember she said that. My um, sir, when the crime is committed, demons are in the bushes too. So they'll give their information to the people where to find them. <laughs> open your eyes, say open your eyes. Open your eyes. I would 
but in the tears. Let's pray. Father, I thank you.
una borrotona na kane. Every serpentine power, I uncall you. I uncall you. I uncall you. I set your pit on fire. I set your pit on fire. In the name of Jesus.
He has called you. Every pain. The pain. Pain, I call you by name. Pain, I call you by name. Somebody will. Pain, I call you out. Get out. Get out. Abuse, get out. You want to be a blessing in our giving to the ministry. And so we're going to pass the baskets around. I want you to take out your best gift and sow it in your deliverance. You're going to sow it in your breakthrough. And then you're going to get an opportunity. We are stop the streaming. We are offline now. And so we can do ministry as the Spirit of the Lord would allow us to do it. So I'm going to ask the ushers to come around real quick. Thank you for your giving. Thank you for your seed. And then you stick around. You need to be delivered. Get your prayer. That's our ministers and our, and our intercessory team and our auto workers. Get, just get this. How to stop it. Because we're going to believe God for some great things. Father, thank you for every gift and every giver, every seed and every soul. Thank you for God, your will being done, your testimony. In the midst of it, God, you are God and beside you there is another. We declare the testimony of our God today. Chains have to break in Jesus' name. And so we declare that release to come for your people today. We believe God in the midst of it. God is God and always will be God. 
We believe in the truth that God the cancel assignments and to destroy yours. We are trusting God in it, that God is God and always will be God. Thank you for your giving. It's your giving that supports our ministry. We're getting set for our distribution this Saturday. Thank you for those of you who brought in school supplies and school bags and brought in hampers. And we're still receiving, so thank you for for your support. And of course, we do our distribution this Saturday at 9 uh, for those for the least ones. If you need agreement and prayer, just come in the aisle quickly. Our ministers are here. We will pray with you and just release you. And just as we worship and honor the Lord today.